This century, no girls basketball team in Indiana can match the success of Heritage Christian. The Eagles have seven state championships over the past 15 seasons and on the path to eight tonight on their home court would face Garen Catholic. Let's pick things up with HC. Ariana Wiggins in transition. Pushing the tempo, finds Jasmine Williams, then Tierney Brown cutting to the rim. Great ball movement between that trio. A 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. More from the Eagles adding to that advantage, this time in the half court. Williams driving to Courtney Lee. Not to be confused with the former Pike standout, Courtney Lee. Two points for her. Garen trying to claw back into this toward the end of regulation. Katie Coger off the bounce gets the floater to fall in the lane. But Heritage Christian was too strong this evening. Wiggins beating the defense and then finds Courtney Lee for two more. 56-42, Heritage Christian moves on. Who would they face next? Might be a rematch for the Indianapolis City Championship. Some young Bishop Chittard fans watching as the Trojans face Lebanon. Early first, Lebanon with the ball, but Mora and McGlin McGinley excuse me, pokes it free back for the layup and she charged the first on the board. This is not a repeat, it is a different play. McGinley again with the steal, and then ahead is behind the defense for two. Lebanon takes a timeout. They talked it over, trying to get something going. The Tigers' Lila Barr avoids another steal. A jumper falls for two Lebanon points. Chittard showed their class this evening, though. Transition again, out and running. Zakia Rashid can't keep her contained. 59-39, Bishop Chittard. In Class 2A, University started the season looking like a state title contender. Eight straight wins to start the year, one of them an 81-6 final. But the Blazers hit a snag at some point. They've now lost three in a row. Hoping to recapture the magic in sectionals tonight at Cascade against Western Boone. Blazers off to a hot start. Sierra Hines, the corner three. The university has an early advantage. Blazers keep coming. Good inbounds play. Kelsey Dubois puts it up and in for the easy two. She leads University 21 points. Western Boone trying to stay in it. Catherine Rutherford to the hoop. Basket plus the foul. The Stars trailed by 11 at the half. Second half, Blazers putting it away. Another nice Sequence, another three-pointer from Hines, 74-40 University. In game two at Cascade, Covenant Christian facing Park Tudor. The Warriors getting a good start here. Bonnie Lou Ludlow driving in for two points. And Covenant has the early advantage. Later, Samara Douglas proving the bank is open Friday nights out in Clayton. Warriors extend that lead. Panthers staying in it, staying right with them. To Janie Butler, stops, pops, jumper falls. Covenant still on top, then some good passing. Good feed from Douglas to Kayla Dantzler, bears the three. Warriors end up winning on a late buzzer beater, 40-38, Covenant Christian. To the small schools now in 1A. Last year, Bethesda Christian won its first sectional championship in school history. Tonight, the Patriots are hosting the semifinals up against Indiana School for the Deaf. Bethesda. Going full speed ahead. Freshman Kenzie Folks gets the layup to add to a Patriot lead. Folks, unstoppable. Plenty of coast to coast buckets for her this evening. And Patriots are proud, certainly after that, but the Orioles are striking back. In fact, Patriots can't get to Sienna Baird fast enough as she hits the floater there coming back the other way. More from the Orioles, Gianna Wheeler, the long two points, making the most of every moment in this postseason. But folks just too fast, Bethesda too strong. The Patriots are winners tonight, final score 60 to 26. Who will they face next? It'll be the winners of Traders Point, Christian and Riverside. Let's get the Knights the first shot here. Off the turnover. Freshman. Kerry Carrisquedo takes it to the hoop for the layup. And then Addie Fry gains control, pushes her way into the paint, muscling down low. Two strong points. Riverside responding. Destiny Jenkins picks it up and works past the Knights' defense for the layup. Later, Riverside scoring from long range. Tira Taylor, three points for her. Now the turnover battle would continue. Reagan Smith takes it the other end of the floor and to the rim. A one-point win for Traders Point Christian, 49-48.